Hey love bugs, it's Rob, I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is the first time, your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for allowing me to assist you. Just bringing positive, you know, vibrations to your life, you know, broadening, you know, perspective. Or, you know, just helping you acknowledge gifts that you didn't even know that you were aware of that you had. So, with many blessings coming towards your way, I say thank you. And with all that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, Please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you get to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or even if you're just letting me know about your empathic gift and how it has affected you or impacted your life towards a positive perspective or a positive direction. And if the video uh, is gave you good insight or just gave you some good vibes that you want to share with somebody else, please do. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. And I hope that you're able to get something out of the content in my video today. And my video is about Twin Flame 101. Uh, empaths turn your anger into passion and perseverance yeah there's so many times you know you go through things and you know you get angry you get upset you know you get confused and try to understand why you know I do that a lot you know I well I used to do that a lot but it's just certain things that will come into my life that I was not aware that I was suppressing and it's just more and more things will come out and it's just like dang you know I'm starting to get aggravated you know it's just like you, you forgive things and you forgive you know people or whatever and it's just like more stuff just keeps coming out more stuff just keeps coming out and it makes me angry and I said you know what I'm not gonna allow no negative situation or no negative person that has impacted my life in a traumatic way you know get me I'm not gonna allow these people that prey on my downfall to see me fail you know you might see me struggle for a minute but you never want to see me quit. And that's going to be a content in my other video. But, you know, on other words, it, it's just like when you go through things and you're, you're angry, you're pissed, and you want to be mad at the world. Turn that into something positive that you know that, you know, you've been hurt. You, you know, you can be that person that, that has been in a relationship and has been mentally and emotionally and physically abused. You know, you could be that type of person that, you know, it made you look at a woman different. It made you look at a man different. Or it made you look at father figures different. You know, you never know. That could be something that can piss somebody off to the max. So it's just like when you go through stuff like that, turn that that anger into something you can drive towards something that you can feel passionate about. You know, I see so many situations where people have been in domestic violence and they, they end up being an advocate for, you know, women. I, you know, me being in abusive, you know, childhood, having an abusive childhood, you know, I want to be that advocate, not just for adopted children or foster children, but children, period, you know, that has been through any kind of abuse and they don't have a voice they're scared people won't believe them they're scared that if they say something they'll be still stuck there and it might be worse you know you have many people that are in situations like that and when they finally do you know go through something like that they can be an advocate for something you know i've seen one woman when she was i forgot what i think this was in cleveland ohio i forgot what it was but it was like i seen it on crime daily on youtube a few weeks back it was probably about a month or two back and she was just in the you know running with the bad crowd as you know we do as you know kids sometimes you know well some of us do you want to be with the cool kids you want to be you know back then you know getting in trouble was kind of cool you know and it's just like we're, we're trying to find figure out life as children but she ended up being in the wrong situation at the wrong time, and I guess somebody had got shot. One of her friends or somebody she was associated with um, got into a fight with somebody or something, altercation or something, and she ended up shooting this, this girl. 
and robbed her. And she just so happy, you know, she went running when she heard the, you know, the police, the, not the police, but, you know, the gunshot. She didn't know who was shooting, but, you know, she just hauled butt, just left. And it's just for the fact that somebody had placed her there and she didn't have no weapon. She had no gun. You know, she had picked up somebody's stuff and just took it with her. And, you know, and she was going to return it later. She didn't know what was going on. But, um, well, the truth ended up happening, uh, coming out a few years later, but this woman had did time. She was in there at age 15. She didn't get out until her late 20s, early 30s, I think. But, you know, she, what made it so bad, the girl who, would, who got murdered, a sister or a cousin or something, you know, believed she didn't do it. And she was trying to help her get out. And the family just exiled her out of the life. Like, how are you going to try to help this girl who murdered your sister or your cousin and help her get out and she's like I really believe in my heart she didn't do this and come to find out she did and she ended up being an advocate for trying to keep kids in school trying to make sure they don't get in trouble trying to make sure that they don't hang around with the wrong crowd so it took something like that very traumatic for her life to be taken away from her you know her childhood is gone there's nothing you can get back from that, but she didn't have any anger towards anybody. She didn't point fingers at nobody. She just, you know, was an advocate and, you know, and tried to teach kids to follow down the right path before it leads you to where she was at. So, you know, it's like something like that we constantly go through, even if you don't feel like being an advocate for something, just being an advocate towards yourself to say, you know what, I'm a walking poster board of surviving this. I'm walking post the board for that. You're not playing victim for anything. So, you know, you take whatever thing that has hurt you the most and push it and turn it into something that, you know, a positive, a negative impact and a negative situation, you always can turn into a positive solution. You always can. It's just like with me, my situation. You know, even though I have not found my way home, I'm not with my family. I'm pushing towards that. You know, I, I want to be able to meet, you know, my siblings or, you know, my aunts and uncles and get to know my, my family, you know, my bi biological family side. And, you know, those things I, I dream about all the time and I wish for every day, you know, but I know I have a duty right now. I'm going to get what I got to get, but I have to serve my part first. You know, what I want is, is something very big and something very important. So I have to work harder. You know, I, nothing's going to be handed to me. So it's just like I feel good by being able to make these videos to let people see me at my vulnerable point and let them know there's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, we, we all go through situations. We all have setbacks. We all make mistakes, you know, but when you're, you're trying to make a positive impact on your life, you, you know, you're working towards something, you know, you can be a very depressed person from the situation that you have uh, been through. It can even put a mental state on you. Um, it can make you put walls up, but just the fact is, you know, with the depression, you know, with depression and anxiety, how it is, you, if you're one of those type of people, you know how it is to struggle just to get up in the morning. Just to not have a situation where, you know, a little trigger can make you cry. You know, you, I, I know people that are like that. I've been that way, you know. But when you are able to wake up the next day and try to take a shower, or clean up, or just go out and nature walk, or try to say something good about yourself at least, you know, a few times a day just to get your spirits up. And there are some times we have to do that. People think that's being conceited. No, if you don't feel... Pe Pretty, uh, pretty, I mean, I'll say, I'm trying to say pretty and handsome at the same, same time. Pretty inside. As a female, you need to tell yourself, I am pretty. I am beautiful. You know, I might not be the perfect person in the world, but I know I'm perfect for someone. You could be ugly inside as a man. You can say, I'm handsome. You know, I might not be the most handsome guy in the world, but I know I'm handsome enough for somebody. You know, when you, when you say, you know, when you feel like you're not loved, you have to keep telling yourself, I love myself. You know, the right people will come into my life that will love me the same. I mean, there are some people that have to constant, constantly, constantly train their mind for that. Because if you have gone through so many things like I have, it can mess with your mental. It really can. And it can trigger off into your children, into your close loved ones. It, it can be very toxic. So, you know, dealing with the things that I deal with, you know, there's days I, I, I'm 
no, I'm not the person to talk to. <laughs> I'm not that person to talk to. But there's days that, you know, I'm just, a, you know, full and bubbly. So, you know, I hope you were able to get something out of the content of this video. I hope you were able to resonate. Um, know that you are truly blessed and highly favored and you are forever loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And much love and light to you is the same. And like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And drop me a line. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And, you know, if you'd like to share, go ahead and share with a loved one or friend or even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Stay safe, get turned up, and be prosperous. And I'll see you later. Peace. And be wild.